Tyler Johnson tweets this out. The 2020 Deshaun Watson st statistically best season. These were the weapons that he had um, with the Texans. He had running back David Johnson, wide receiver Brandon Cooks, Will Fuller, Randall Cobb, uh, Cote, and uh, Darren Fells. With the Browns, he's got Chubb Cooper, Peoples Jones, Moore, Cedric Tillman, uh, David Njoku. The other thing is the offensive line, it, as much as the Browns are reportedly struggling, it is light years ahead of what the Texans had. I know they had Laramie Tunsil, but that's about all they had. Yeah, it's an undeniably upgrade for Watson in all areas, from offensive line to skill positions everywhere. And I just don't know if we need to base it on statistics, though. Right. Because even with all that being said, this is the most talent he's ever played with. I don't think that automatically equates to just better statistics because of the situation. You know, in 2020, the Texans were down. They were playing from behind in a lot of second halves, and he was throwing the ball all over the yard to try to get back in games. I don't think the game script's going to kind of work the same way. I think you're going to see most of his, his throwing happening in the first half of games and third quarters of games. I think if everything plays out the way it should, in the fourth quarter of games, they're going to be trying to put teams away, and you're not going to be doing that by chucking the ball all over the yard. You don't want him to, you know, you want to have Nick Chubb running the ball in the fourth quarter with the lead. You don't want Deshaun Watson to, but you want that ability to say, all right, here's the ball. We feel pretty, if we have the ball last, we feel pretty good that he's going to find a way to get us in the end zone or in field goal range. That, if you have that from the quarterback, you're getting what you want. That's the great equalizer in the NFL. When you have a quarterback that when he has to can go out there and just execute, get first downs, get you in a position to win. And that's why you pay a quarterback. That's exactly what they need to be, is they need to be able to do that with the game on the line. And, you know, to have that in your back pocket is a bonus. It just I don't think we need to be worried about whether he throws 4,800 yards. You know, it's all about wins and losses. And if you look back, look no further than the last couple of years. There were games that were there to be won in the fourth quarter. For the Browns, in the last year and the year before, they didn't win. Yeah, all comes down to execution. And you, when you have, you have to have a quarterback with, that has that kind of pedigree that puts fear in defenses when you do have the ball last, when you feel like, oh, man, this, this doesn't feel good, you know. And you, the Browns finally have a quarterback with that kind of capability. Now it's all about proving it on the field.